Welcome back to News 5. School overcrowding and a potential long-term financial crisis are big concerns in Baldwin County as a new school year approaches. As News 5's Pat Peterson reports tonight, about 500 new students have enrolled in the system this year, which is also operating on a much smaller budget. About 75 of those 500 students will attend Foley Elementary. We are the largest elementary school in the state of Alabama. I'm excited about the growth because we want to reach every child. County enrollment will top 31,000 students. Most of Baldwin County's 45 public schools will get new students. And while enrollment is up, this year's budget is smaller. It cuts about $18 million out of expenses. The $311 million budget was outlined at a public hearing last night. The board felt it had to become more transparent after taxpayers, who called school officials untrustworthy and ineffective leaders, shot down both a property tax increase and an existing school tax. But the public did not show up at last night's meeting. With the result of the referendum um, and a lot of that being based around funding and how the school spends its revenue, I really thought we'd have a packed house. I was a little uh, disappointed to see that we didn't have more people here. About 20 people attended the hearing, most of them affiliated with a political, educational, or civic group. We can develop more trust by being forthcoming and explaining these numbers, showing where the cuts are, showing what we're having to do to give up. What the board says it won't give up is providing a solid education for students with the resources they currently have. On the Baldwin County Beat, Pat Peterson, News 5. The Baldwin County Board of Education is the largest employer in the county. School officials say it costs about $5 million a week to operate the system. 70% of that is payroll.